everyone welcome to Eden Secret this is part two to yesterday's video if you missed yesterday's video where we were actually making these lovely Halloween soy wax melts if you click the information card in the top right hand corner of the screen that video will be there or if you click the drop down menu to have a read of the description the video is listed there so what we're going to do today is we're going to paint these with mica and then we're going to package them so i'll show you how we're going to send them this year and this is the only halloween product we are making here at eden secret this year um i decided not to do any halloween products because last year was the first time i actually did halloween and all it did was hold up the christmas uh products so i'm not really doing any this is literally it okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to brush some dry uh, mica glitter onto these wax melts i don't think there's any need to actually add rubbing alcohol um because i think it'll stick anyway so i'm just sprinkling some ultra sparkle white from mineral makeup ingredients into a little container and some super light gold also from mineral makeup ingredients into this container and then we've got the bronze uh, eco sparks from so is it so posh yeah from so posh in here um they're basically the glitters that we actually put into the um into the wax melts and so you can see i've already done one with eco sparks here and you can see although it's called white it does have silver bio glitter in there as well so we're just taking a regular paintbrush and we're just brushing it on and it does stick nicely on there i mean shall we have a go and try with some rubbing alcohol to see what happens probably a good idea it's always nice to know whether these things will work or not but it does stick enough so it's going to stay on there and just take a bit of rubbing alcohol and squirt a little bit in there and then take some of that glitter and just mix it in it could be that it's actually better it might not be any different it's very similar one thing i do notice with the rubbing alcohol the glitter's not flying all over the place getting airborne so it's going to work both ways so i'm glad i tried it obviously the rubbing alcohol is going to evaporate off it looks identical they both look absolutely identical obviously there's still some rubbing alcohol on my brush but it will dry out eventually just makes them look a bit prettier for the packaging If you just hold the the shape the wax melt hold it over the glitter pot and then any glitter that comes off it'll most of it will fall into the pot
does anybody know what this shape's supposed to be? It's a bit like a square head with a hat on, no eyes or anything, just a nose. I don't know. Kind of looks like some kind of robot, but it's probably got a proper name. So if you're familiar with that name, just let me know what they are. And all the links to the moulds and everything, the glitters, just everything that I'm using in this video is in the description box below the video. And just about every recent video that I make, say over the past three years at least, um, all the details that you need to know are actually in the description box. That's something I didn't use to share years ago I mean years ago when we first started making YouTube videos you can only make a video for a few minutes long so it's just a case of turning the video on and then turning it off again you know just a quick flash to say this is what I've made today it's this 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 and that this this and this and that and then that was it now videos need to be much more detailed and informative for the viewers because it is all about you and what you want to see and I just hope the videos I'm making are what you want to see. I love these little ghosts, they are super cute. And this is the last white one. It does stick on very well. I don't know what it's like if you use, um, if you like to use paraffin wax, but I'm pretty sure it'll work just as well. I want to do the gold next. Just always start from the lightest. To the darkest that's absolutely gorgeous gold that isn't it so pretty actually you'll probably notice I took my my nails off I recently got my nails done to go to Grantley Hall if you missed that video there's also an information card for our 25th wedding anniversary we went to Grantley Hall and I got my nails done professionally and I love what they look like but they get on my nerves after a while and I just couldn't wait to get them off after about three weeks they're always very thick aren't they um, the acrylic nails and you can't like peel labels off or anything with them they're a bit of a nightmare so I just couldn't wait to get them off luckily I've got like an electric drill so I took them all off myself so my nails don't look very nice now but at least they're not getting in the way when I'm typing or anything like that so this is the super light gold glitter from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. You'll be able to get it all over the world. It might not be called super light gold, but if you just type in um, Eco Sparks Glitter or Bio Glitter, that type of thing, it'll come up in a search for you. But I, I do link the companies in the description box below the video where I get mine from. And then if I see any anywhere else, I'll link those as well. But I'd be on forever. I'd love to link, find them everywhere in all the countries around the world. But that would take me forever. But what I tend to do is in the capital letters above... Um, any link that you find I'll put what the Google search term is 
so if you don't want to buy it from the UK you can use that Google search term and search it uh, whichever country you're in and, and something might show up for you nearer to where you are in the world And this one is the uh, the pumpkin apple butter. I love these pumpkins; they're fabulous. So I'm thinking um, two large ones. And four small ones are going to fit in a box, so that's probably how I'll be selling them as a pack. So if you want any and you want them in time for Halloween, you really need to get them ordered now. But it doesn't matter because they're still, they're still an autumn wax melt collection. The smells will definitely do for around Christmas as well. It's just that obviously they are Halloween shapes, uh, but pumpkins are autumn shapes, aren't they? Right, so now, now let's do the bronze. I love this bronze as well. It's actually more like a vampire bat, this one, because it's got the fangs as well. And then this is like a witchy pumpkin. And you could do this um, on your massage bars as well. It will stick to your massage bars. Okay, so that's it. They're all painted. Now we're going to show you how we will be packaging them this year. Sorry, I scared you there. I think I scared myself even more. Uh, just a moment of madness from me, Karen, at Eden's Secret. Nothing unusual there. 
So what I wanted to do is show you the weight of the wax melts that are going into the box. Oops, it's gone off. The scales have gone off. So it's about the weight of three snap bars. Because we're going to put um, three large ones, four small ones in there. It's 170 grams. Our snap bars are 375 each. So I was thinking it would be an absolute bargain if we did these for 950 for a box. And the box is going to come to you like so. And stick around if you want to see me make this box and show you how to package it. Okay, so I printed these uh, like posters off with Canva and put all the information that I need on there. At the moment I've only done six. I want to put one inside the box and one outside the box. Now the box size I've decided to go for, they're a bit deep. I wish I had some shallower ones, but I haven't, so these will have to do, make do. These are six centimetres, so that's why I've got some packing peanuts, biodegradable packing peanuts, of course, uh, that we're going to pop in there. So what I need to do is I need to cut down this sheet so it'll actually fit in there and I can actually line the box with the poster. And then I can close the box and I'll put the other poster on the outside. I guess you don't need one inside as well, do you? I don't need one inside. I could just do one outside. Yeah. Yeah, that would make more sense. It would make more sense and it would save a little bit of money by not doing a double up. So I did a practice one yesterday for the width. So it's still a little bit... It's a teeny weeny bit too wide, but it's actually pretty good. But will it go right round the box? That is the question. Actually, it doesn't need to go right round the box. As long as it goes across the top and underneath. That's enough, isn't it? That, that'll that do. That's all it needs to do. I've just put all the pictograms on there for safety and then the CLP on there as well. If you're in the UK or EU, you have to put the CLP information on. I don't know what the rules are elsewhere in the world, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to put CLP or anything on. We have all the strictest laws here in the UK and the EU. So what we will do is we'll get some gold tissue paper and we'll line it with gold tissue. So the way that I do that, just to get the right size, I put the box at one end and then I'll get the tissue paper like so. This is double sided gold tissue so it's pretty expensive stuff. If you just get the single sided, it's a lot cheaper than this one. This is 50p a sheet actually. So when you're talking business, all those 50p's, she would do add up. She would do, she would does, she would does add up, doesn't it? So I just get my box. Where can you see it? See the box yet? There. So we'll just get the box and then I fold the tissue. Sorry, I'm just a bit limited for space, so that's why it's looking a bit awkward the way I do this. So I just want it to fit inside there. That's it, just fold it all the way down. 
like so, so it's nice and neat. Now, because the, the wax melts are quite shallow compared to the box, I don't know whether to put the packing peanuts in first. I'll just lay them on the bottom just to so it'll stand up a bit. And then put my tissue in. And line it like so. And then all the boxes, I'm just having one box with multiple wax melts in, but you will get a good mix. But that good mix doesn't mean you'll get a, you know, one of these pumpkins in every box or one of the bandages or one of these skull things. So you'll get four small ones. Could we squeeze us, uh, one of those in as well? Let's see if we can find a way to do that. We could. There we are. That's about it. So you're going to get one, two, three, four small ones and three big ones. I just need to work out a price for them because each one of these will be at least two pieces off a snap bar. But I'm still going to make them an excellent price. So then, if you've ever seen my packing videos, we're just going to fold up the tissue paper into the box like so and I'm showing you this so if you want to make some boxes like this you can if you do make anything that's like what I'm making in a video only if you are basically just copying or inspired by what I'm making. Um, you can always tag me on Instagram your pictures or videos or whatever. I don't want people to, every product, product they make, I don't want them tagging all their products on my Instagram. What I'm asking for is anyone that's taken literal inspiration or copied the product that I've made from the video Though they're the type of um, pictures I want you to tag me on Instagram with. So we'll just close that. And then we're going to cut down So we're just going to make a mark on either side for the size we want. I mean, if you've got a, a paper cutter, you'll be a lot better with one of those. I'm just using a scalpel and a ruler. It won't pull apart then you can just get your scissors and do it with your scissors
And then we're going to take some double sided tape. And we'll just stick some across the bottom. As close to the edge as you can get it. And then some on the top as well. And this is why I took those nails off because I couldn't do that with the acrylic nails on. How do? Wagons always piff when they go past here because when Declan was little, he loved waving at all the wagons. And they've just, he's 23, they've never stopped doing it. I think we need a bit of tape in the center as well. hold it in place when you're trying to position it I mean you could always do it onto a sticky label I suppose and tight so it holds it in place like so and that is our Halloween pack of soy wax melts for 2021 I hope you enjoyed this video showed you how pretty easy it was to make something look rather spectacular sorry I did scare you all a little earlier it was just a moment of madness of mine. I have lots of moments of madness. Um, I just want to say happy Halloween. Thanks to everybody who watched and enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to pay the price. The price is just subscribe, like, share or click the join button. Place a comment down below the video and I'll see you all very soon for another video from Eden's Secret. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you for continuing to watch and enjoy my videos. Bye bye for now.